Hey everybody, Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor. Welcome to my studio. Today I want to talk to you about defense. First things first, defense is really made up very specifically of one single shot. It's either what happens to the cue ball, what happens to the object ball. And that's really what you want to be focused on. Now I realize from time to time you've heard the slang of about hitting a two-way shot. As the drill instructor, way ODO, offense defense option that's really the correct way to say it that's where you what you typically call a two-way and that is you hope you could make it but if you don't make it you leave your opponent in a really tough situation and that still requires you to only care about the speed of the object ball or the speed of the cue ball and that's really the key to actually making great defensive shots you only care about the speed of one ball and in the example I'm going to teach you today this could either be an eight ball nine ball you can actually use this particular defensive shot in one pocket straight pull virtually any game you could play distance is your friend always say that with me distance is my friend when you want to play defense if you're not locking somebody up and eclipsing the ball and they can't even see it, if all you have is the ability to do one thing, distance. Distance is your friend. Get the cue ball as far from the object ball as possible. And let me show you an example of a really great way to practice both cue ball speed, object ball speed, and put them together in a fantastic safety drill. Also, I want you to know that when you go to the drillinstructor.us and look up my 55 defense and safety drill shots, this is really the best way to lock up your opponent and get ball in hand. Let me show you how this shot works. If you're left in a situation like this, you've got some work to do because, first of all, you're in a much too difficult position to get your body over the table and try to shoot even if you can shoot with the opposite hand from the other side of the table you're really going to be in some trouble this is going to create a problem but there's two ways you can actually play this again remember distance is your friend the first way we can play this is to come off thin come off thin on the eight ball and get the cue ball just to sit up here on the rail or actually play the object ball and put the object ball on the rail and this is why you want to really develop the ability to control cue ball speed and control object ball speed. And let me go ahead and shoot these for you so you'll see how they come out. And that's what I like. I want to make sure I can keep that within an inch or two at the most from the cushion. My opponent is in some serious trouble <laughs> right now. And this is a great way uh, to leave your opponent to have to take a flyer. And probably you're coming back to the table in a much better position. Let me shoot the other one for you as well. Okay, this time I'm going to switch it up. And I'm actually going to play the nine ball back up to the top rail. You're really going to probably need to be using a good bridge. And for those of you, I recommend you really want to have a cue extension in order to not be hanging over. And especially, look at this, if it's on a long table without the cue extension, I'm way up here. So the cue extension really gives me great control from back here. One of the reasons this is such a difficult shot, I can't really bank it to the top because if you can't see from there, but I'm in a position right now where if I tried to bank this, it would be a definite double kiss and I would get in trouble. So I'm gonna shoot this up the rail and this is what's gonna happen. And this is how I want to leave my opponent. I want that ball right up there, a couple of inches. Like I barely got one inch to the cushion, got down here barely an inch. This is what I want to be leaving. Hey, listen, if you don't have a Bazooka CX-19Q extension in your case, you could easily be miscuing from overreaching on the shot. All right, that's how you handle these. Work on them carefully. 
control the distance of the cue ball, control the distance of the object ball, work on both these shots. I'll look forward to seeing you again. Remember the drillinstructor.us. If you want to get a bazooka, get your 55 safety drill books, and I look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Bye-bye. God bless you.